So we've been talking about the whole thing of being mindful of each other and particularly now with the restrictions just about to be lifted. Um, people have been coming back to church anyway, but now from the 25th of July, everyone will have the opportunity to be back together. And we've been talking about what does that mean for us as a church? What are some of the things that we want to encourage people with? What are some of the concerns that we want to speak into? And we came up with that phrase, being mindful of each other. So what are your thoughts around what does that mean for us as a church, being mindful for one another in this kind of post-restrictions world that we're stepping into? I think for me, it, it just simply is what it, it says on the tin. If we're mindful of one another, we're aware that if some people feel coming into a space, they'd be much more comfortable with the, the, the hands face uh, hands space what is it hands face space that yeah. was it yeah. wasn't it yeah. so hands face space and and come in use the hand sanitizer wear a mask mm -hmm. if people feel comfortable and that eases people back yeah. home then then I, I think that's the best way and we can be mindful uh, of uh, each other that way mm -hmm. so whether we want to do that or whether we feel comfortable enough not to do that that's okay and i think uh, yeah that that's the way forward really. so we want to make it really clear to people that if they want to wear a mask they can do they can, yeah. Yeah. there's yeah. no that's sense really. of a shame around that or embarrassment around that. If you want to wear a mask, you're more than welcome to. Absolutely. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on personal space? So I'm sat next to someone <laughs> who has a reputation <laughs> for wanting her own personal space. But what, what, what do we think around that? I, I think it's important. Personal space is important. Yeah. Um, but no, I think it's about um, acknowledging that people have differences of opinion with that. And if people want to hug, then of yeah. course that's fine. But it's Absolutely. about asking that question, isn't it? Yeah. Are you yeah. okay if, yeah. if I give you a hug? Yeah. Or would you prefer me not to? And not being offended if somebody says, no, I don't want a hug. I think that's important, isn't it? Because yeah. that is about being mindful. If someone does express, hey, I don't really want a hug, you know, don't get offended. Mm. Don't get all that's upset right. because we are family. That's mm. it. Uh, and some people have probably not hugged their close relatives for exactly, quite a long yeah. time. Yeah. I know I haven't been able to. And so so actually not being able to do that and then someone else wants a hug, I, I start to think, mm. do I want to do that? And yeah, then, yeah. then actually that, that's okay to have that question. And like you said, mm. Sarah, it's okay for someone to say, actually at the moment, if you don't mind. I think it's about, again, being mindful of how we answer those questions yeah, and yeah. how we ask them so that it, it's, it's all okay. Because like we said, we want to welcome everyone home yeah. together. And, and isn't it exciting yeah. that it is. at last yeah. we can come back together, yeah. we'll be able to sing really together, good. we'll be able to share this time together. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I think we've learned to be much more mindful. And if the church can be the most mindful, then that's brilliant, isn't yeah. it? And so tell us a little bit about children's work then. Uh, we've not been running any formal children's work as people have been coming back. That's so right. what, what is the difference going to be kind of on the 25th of July? So on the 25th of July, I mean, the children will be used to being invited to uh, Bridge Kids Zoom at 10 o'clock on a Sunday. That won't be happening. And, and our Bridge Kids Unleashed in the afternoon won't have all the kind of activities that have been there. So we're coming back together. So... When we come back, obviously, we're going to spend some time together before the service yeah. as well. But when the service begins, we, we want to just welcome the children home as well and everyone together so that we can do that. So all the children for the first half an hour will come back together. We'll, it's going to be a chilled out space. We're going to have all the different ages together. So it'll be a kind of celebration of, right. of us together and 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 the things that have happened. But equally, uh, I'm sure there'll be some fun and games along the way as yeah. well just to ease people back together again well i don't know about you but i'm i'm really excited yeah. the 25th you know yeah. at the moment people have been coming back on a connect group voter yeah but to have everybody being able to come back of course we know we are still live stream for those that yeah. are unable to be here yeah. but to yeah. have the majority of our church yeah. here back in the building i think it's going to be it's amazing be, so yeah. Uh, welcoming everybody back into the family. Yeah, Fantastic. yeah wonderful. So, Brilliant. so excited uh, to see you all again. Really miss you all, particularly some of you that I've not seen for, for 18 months. So, love you all. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon.